I'm Oriana Leo with the Red Carpet Report at the 42nd Annual Daytime Emmy Awards. Hi. So nice to meet you. You too, Darren and Kelly. Yes, you are. Now, what do you attribute your success in the daytime world to, personally, and your show? Um, what do we attribute our success to? Just keeping it real. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, keeping it real. Working really hard. You know, Darren sometimes has to learn like 50 pages of dialogue a night. And, and some I wouldn't people... be able to do it without her, though, because she runs it with me every night. So. Yeah. So, so pick your partner wisely, is what you're saying. Exactly. Exactly. And, safe, and work hard, because if you phone it in, it's not going to lead to a lot of success. But yeah. if you actually put the work in, it will. Yeah. Take every opportunity and just make the best of it. You know what I mean? How do you guys handle the workflow, the workload, and the pace of your schedule? I mean, it just you just kind of jump into it. You know, I mean, the memorization and everything is just a muscle. So you just work it and work it, and work it, and then when you finally, you know, you get it. You know what I mean? But but. Um, yeah, you just, don't be afraid, just jump in and just do it, you know? Are you guys fans of other daytime shows, whether it's soaps or talk? Well, she was on, she used to be on YNR, so I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah, so like, I love YNR. Yeah. Uh, we like, we love the talk, we love Ellen. Oh yeah, Ellen and the talk, yeah. I mean, Ellen, like, just like. She's so great. She's so great. Even I'm, she's I'm, I'm like, watching sometimes when she's watching and I'm going, that just looks like fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's just so great. She does so much good in the world, you know? Yeah. And it's just so inspiring and it always makes me feel good. I can't say how many times, like, I cry. <laughs> yeah, she's always she's out there crying. I'm going, baby, you okay? She's like, you got to see this. It's just, they're doing this thing on puppies or whatever. And it's just like, I got to, But you, you know, know what? Like, I'm not a crier. I'm really not. Like, I only cry in my work. I'm really, like, kind of stony normally. But, like, last night we went to this beautiful event for children, like City Year for Keeping Kids in School. Yeah. And I'm like, stop. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, it's beautiful when you see great things. People doing really great yeah. things. Well, using their opportunity wisely, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and we like to do that too. You know yeah. what I mean? So we yeah. want to try and keep that we'll going as well. Yeah. So, what would you advice would you give your younger selves before you started this journey, or maybe at the very beginning? Oh God, don't worry so much. Like, yeah. Chill out. Right? I'd say that too for both of us. Yeah. And also, um, um, really like stay positive all the time. Like it's easy yeah. to like. It's a long journey. It's a lot of work, and uh, sometimes you can get or take things for granted, and really just be grateful for each step. Yeah, and it's very easy to like put yourself down sometimes. Like in the middle of it, you're going, "Oh God, I just yeah. I sucked that day," you know, or whatever. But don't, because you know, even at your worst, you could surprise yourself sometimes, or you think you're doing your worst, but you surprise yourself and you go, "Oh, yeah. that wasn't so bad," you know. Now, what are you guys most ex looking forward to tonight? Bold and Beautiful winning Best Show. Yeah, baby! Yeah, we got 19 nominations. We already won eight at the Creative. Um, so we're just looking to see if we can catch a few more, you know? Good luck. Lindsay and Jacob winning. Scott, Lindsay and Jacob. Yep, yep. yep. Amazing. Yeah. Well, good luck tonight and have fun. Yeah, exactly.